Eugene here with Easy Stud Rack. Today's a little Saturday morning project. We took everything off of the shelf and we put everything up on the wall. We got this little corner section here when you open the door. It's out of the way. What do you think? You can order online, see the description down below. Hey, and give me one of those little life buddies. Thank you. You have a good day. Do you have exposed studs in your garage like this? What if I told you in five minutes you can install four foot of shelving, fully adjustable shelving. Now people ask, what comes with the Easy Stud Rack package? You get eight Easy Stud Racks and screws to attach to two by fours. So you get eight of these guys that attach to your studs and then you go in and just add whatever shelves you want. You could do one by fours, one by sixes, one by eights, whatever size shelf you want. You get a set of instructions, but if you follow this video, you don't need those. So we have these deep shelves right here. You start getting organized, but then you just start putting things in different locations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start taking all these little knick-knack items and transfer them to the wall. I'm noticing on this little area here, we got cans, trash bags we can put on that wall, tape measures. I'm noticing back behind the refrigerator, we got some more stuff. Now this wall, they put paneling up, but as we're removing the paneling and exposing the studs, we're going to be able to come in here and just outfit this entire section in time. Not all at once with easy stud racks. And don't forget to take those before and after pictures because you don't realize how cluttered things get until you take those pictures and look at before and after. I'm just going to start putting up easy stud racks. And then we're just going to video filling it up. I'm not going to talk as much either. So obviously we're not going to need a stud finder today. Hold on. Oh yeah. If you look at this video, I go through a five minute install. It actually takes about 15 minutes, all, my, all the talking that I'm doing. If you want to see step by step on how to do it, then go check out that video. Right now I'm just going to put things up. And I noticed this stud right here in the middle going across. So on some videos, I go in there and notch it out. But in this particular video, I'm just gonna start here and right above it. Now I'm only gonna go up this high. I always suggest put the high items that you need to get on a ladder way up high. But in this particular case, I was asked not to go above this point right here because they didn't want to get on a ladder. They got so much potential all the way around here that that's unnecessary. Don't go all the way to the ground. Go probably I don't know, about eight inches, at least eight inches off the ground. That way you can sweep any kind of dirt that accumulates down at the bottom. So we'll go about right there to here. Five feet, nine inches. Ooh, we need some music. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That later on I can drive you home. No, I don't mind at all. As in the instructions, text always go up. So I was gonna use this as a reference, but it's not quite level, so I'm gonna have to get in here and cut a board out. Oh, I like you too, to tell you the truth. You're, <laughs> you're right on a knot. I'm surprised he didn't break the screw. We're on camera. You can't be doing that in the camera. My girlfriend might not like it. <laughs> Quit interrupting the workers. Distractions. We are at 41 minutes. Well, 41 minutes total right now, video time. Uh, you do recall I did a lot of talking at the beginning. I have to see how much talking I did. We got two, four, six, eight, ten easy stud racks per section. So 10, 20, 30. So this is right under four packages. Each package has eight. Eight times four is 32. This dimension I'm about to tell you, you got to remember there's a two by four here in the middle, which is three and a half inch gap. So we're starting from the ground. We're starting right at little less than 12 inches. 
and we're gonna have 67 inches of storage. We're taking advantage of this area between the studs. We're gonna need more wood. Whoever built this building did a great job. Look at these. We can use the same width of boards everywhere. You don't see that very often. So now, no matter what, you can pull a board from over here, use over here, mix and match, whatever you need. All right, so I'm gonna use this as my go-by and just start cutting shelves. I'm gonna cut them all. Standard spacing here in Texas, I don't know if this is everywhere, the spacing 16 inch centers between the studs, which utilizes about 14 and a quarter, 14 and an eighth wood that I cut. A one by 12, one by four, by 12 foot, this is, What's left? Huh? Standard spacing here in Texas. I don't know if this is everywhere. Spacing 16 inch centers. Between the studs, which utilizes about 14 and a quarter, 14 and an eighth wood that I cut. A one by 12, one by four by 12 foot. This is what's left. And I, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shelves. And if you look at that one video that I pointed out earlier on how to buy wood, this is like a lot of it was free. Not really free, but pennies, pennies. What we're doing is we're just experimenting. We're not really organizing. We're thinking this is what we want to do. We have that little issue with this two by four in there. So somehow we're trying to see how we can utilize that little space there. But you know what? These shelves are all adjustable. You can do what you want with it. One thing I do recommend is as you use deeper shelves, put the deeper shelves down at the bottom because it's almost like a stair step you could see or above when you're storing long items. So we got this guy, it's a battery charger. And I'm measuring one by eight will probably do it. It's gonna be close, one by eight. Cause it's one by eight, it's like one, uh, three quarter inch thick by seven and a quarter long. So I'd rather it stick out like this and not like this. If you have this situation, don't do like I did. You could actually use the top row like that and just slit it right between the two by four. I'm not about to take all this off just to shift it. So, lessons learned. Yeah, let's find some more knickknacks. So you're not limited to just a one by four. You could put boards out like that. Now, if you come a mile out, then yeah, you're limited to the weight. But if I was smart, I would have slid a board like this and then shifted everything down. That way, when this went in, it would have been right underneath that. We would, have gained a, we would have gained that much room. Just nitpicky stuff. We put this shelf right up against this 2 by 4 And we started a shelf right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and start a shelf right here. So I'm going to cut a piece of wood this length. And we're going to start right there that way and save that much space. Look at that. What's this dog's name? Missy. Missy, Missy, Missy. You should always own a pair of these. I'll have a link down in the description where you can get some like these. I, I agree with what you're saying. Thing. I measured these are taller than these so I'm gonna put these down here in the nose and gain another inch mm -hmm. 
See how easy it is to adjust? Oh, oh. That was really easy to adjust. <laughs> Here's what we got so far. Got lots of chargers. Still got more room down here. We got to get more shelves. And now we're going to start this section right here. Exposed studs. Take advantage of that. One row deep storage. When you use an item, guess what? Where do you think you're going to put it back? The one spot. Mmm. Let's see what you got. Easily. Save time and space. Today's easy stud rack project. One row deep storage. Take advantage of that wall space. About three hours worth of work. We installed six and a half packages of easy stud racks. I, I wouldn't say six and a half, it's 50 easy stud racks. Each package has eight. So if you do the math, it's right, a little less than seven packages. Now I remember what it used to look like. All this stuff was just scattered everywhere. And now we got all this potential. I mean, we still got all all around here, potential. One day at a time. <laughs>